Before we get into the bubbles and boiling water, we first need to know a little bit more about states of matter. When temperatures are below zero, water is a solid, known as ice. When it is heated to zero degrees Celsius, it starts to melt. The water will remain at zero degrees until the ice is completely melted. Then, if we continue to heat the water, the temperature will rise again until it starts to boil at 100 degrees Celsius. It will stay at 100 degrees until all the water is evaporated. And then, the evaporated water will rise in temperature. So what are the bubbles in boiling water? Okay, so there are actually two components to that answer. So there's dissolved oxygen, dissolved nitrogen, and dissolved carbon dioxide that are gases, and they're dissolved in the water, like a soda can, uh, oxygen dissolved in water because that's how fish live. And if you heat, begin to heat the water, those dissolved molecules of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide begin to escape. So that's the first thing, and it usually is at the, at the side of the beaker. But then, once you get to a high enough temperature, 100 degrees, uh, you can begin to break the attractions between those water molecules in the, in the liquid state, and one of those will escape and go to the vapor phase, and that bubble, that can be a bubble of water leaving the surface. How about at the atomic level? At this point, all of the dissolved air is gone, and we are just left with molecules of water. If we increase the energy and try to get it to 100 degrees Celsius, that liquid water that's being held together by hydrogen bonds is going to be overcome by the added kinetic energy so much that the water molecules are going to spread apart. And that's where water turns into a gas. Another way to visualize water as a gas bubble is with a rock concert audience. Before a band plays their first number, everyone is packed in tight, shoulder to shoulder. However, when they open up with their most extreme song, the energy rises and rises quickly. So much that there are areas in the crowd where people, particles, have a profound amount of energy that they spread apart, similar to bubbles in boiling water. This goes for the dissolved air at lower temperatures and then water at 100 degrees Celsius. It's pretty cool, right? Only until our own misconceptions are exposed can we start to understand the true science behind something as simple as bubbles in boiling water. To be honest, I actually had the misconception here. I thought those bubbles were just water, water vapor. But technically, every answer is correct here. If the bubbles are forming on the sides of the container and the temperatures are lower than 100 degrees, then that's dissolved air escaping. But if the bubbles are forming at the bottom of the container and we're at 100 degrees Celsius, then that's water vapor. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more on STEM education and innovation, please consider subscribing. If you'd like to support Mr. Innovator Educator, check out our Patreon page. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.